Since the beginning of this week, oil has been standing still. The energy market outlook is highly uncertain. That's why the quotes are drifting around $105 per barrel, most often trading above this mark and only occasionally falling slightly below it. This is a little doubt that many regions of the world will face energy shortages this autumn. However, the scale of a looming threat is still unclear, largely due to proposed price cap on Russian oil. While this issue remains open, the market will most likely continue moving sideways, as no one intends to take risks. Now let's take a look at the trading chart. Having touched 107.50, the local high of the previous corrective move, Brand crude oil futures entered a sideways range limited by the levels of 103.50 and 107.50, which indicates a possible accumulation phase. And in this case, the best tactic is to trade with a view to breaking through one or another boundary of the flat channel. Meanwhile, gold fell below $1,700 per ounce for the first time since June 2020. Moreover, the yellow metal is expected to extend losses. However, local rebounds and the corrections cannot be ruled out. No much depends on the outcome of today's ECB meeting. If Christine Lagarde announces the start of a large-scale monetary policy tightening cycle, gold prices will most likely hit uh, towards $1,600 per ounce. If the head of the ECB declares the need to take a cautious approach to raising interest rates, the asset may well jump about $1,700 per ounce. However, this will hardly have a severe impact on market sentiment since all major central banks are clearly on the way to hiking interest rates, which is why gold is a losing value. The situation with the Russian currency has barely changed. The only difference is that the quotes return to the area of 55 rubles per dollar. Most likely, they will remain at this level until tomorrow's meeting of the Bank of Russia Board of Directors. However, if the regulator cuts its key interest rate to 9% from 9.5, the ruble is unlikely to make a significant downward move. And in this case, the Russian currency will post moderate losses, but then resume its bullish run towards the level of 50 rubles per dollar. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.